So four quarterbacks in this tier. Yes, sir. Wild card for Kirk Cousins. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I bet a lot of people thought that this next quarterback would be out of the wild card designation. Number 11 in the Chris Sims Top 40 countdown is... Trevor Lawrence. T-Law. Jacksonville Jaguars, right? I mean, Trevor Lawrence, number one pick a few years back. Obviously, the face of the franchise for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They want to get a long-term deal done with him and sign him up. And I understand that. You know, I think you start off with Trevor Lawrence right off the bat because the first thing that stands out to you when you turn him on and you watch is you go, this is one of the best-looking specimens playing QB in the NFL. Mm. Definitely. When you talk about size, athleticism, and arm power, it's up there with anyone in football, period. Right? Presence and size in the pocket, up there with anyone. He's like a, like a, a Justin Herbert or a Josh Allen and how he can just stand in there and, you know, big throws, people around him, throw over somebody, whatever. And then the athleticism is, is eye-popping. I mean, when he runs and moves, you're just like, man, 6'6", 225, he's moving and running like that. He's turning the corner on a good defense end to run up the field, right? Tremendous, tremendous ability that way. The arm power in his arm power to throw the football is at the tops of the league, right? It rivals just about anybody. I would say Josh Allen, when he needs to throw it the hardest, can throw it the hardest in football. Hmm. After that, you know, you get into you get into this guy, right? Mahomes, Herbert, right? I think that would be the next class of guys where you'd go, those three guys, okay, but I'm going to give Josh Allen the crown as far as just throwing as hard as they can. Yeah. But Trevor's right there, right? Okay, so he's got that. He's got one of the quickest releases in the NFL. I mean, man, can he get the ball out of his hand, right? So that's really where it's special, okay? And he can make eye-popping throws, right? The, the throws we talk about that Kirk Cousins can't make, right? You see a few throws every game where you go, holy shit, that's unbelievable. He just fit that 25-yard out route into that. He shouldn't have thrown that. That was a bad decision, <laughs> but holy crap, he got it in there, right? I mean, so that's what kind of talent he has, right? But at times... The release can be, it's quick, but it can be herky-jerky is what I would call it. And it causes the ball to be off target. And I, I, you know, I wish we you know, could play highlights and things and break down the throwing motions at yeah. time, right? You know, but he can, and when I say herky-jerky here, right, you know, hey, let's throw the ball, boom throw the ball and sometimes you have to speed the process up right like okay I got somebody coming down on about to hit me and the guy's just about to pop on oh let me do that same thing a little quick right and so you're still trying to do that same smooth motion but just speeding up the process right he can go overboard to where he speeds it up so quick like everything goes everywhere you can see it on film I wish I could show you because I'd go look at this and you'd be like yeah, damn, his body and his, his head jerks out of the way and he just whips it and throws it as hard as he can. You're like, wait, he's seven yards from you, right? Like you don't have to throw it that hard one and yeah. he's diving or doing something like that. It's a seven-yard throw. There's a few too many of that on film for as good as Trevor Lawrence mm-hmm. is, right? Or just being off target with the intermediate sh- short passing game at times because he's like, He's made up a mind. I got to be so quick with it getting out of my hand, right? Because it's quick game. And it's like, dude, you're a great athlete. Just chill out and just yeah. do what you always do and be smooth. That's plenty quick. And then the way you throw the ball with the velocity will make up for <laughs> my head flying everywhere and like not being accurate with the ball. Are those the same things that you saw? Because when you saw him coming out of college, yeah. you were like, oh, there are a few things that I think right. could give him trouble in the NFL. Are those similar things to what you're seeing now? They're not. They're mm. not. They're actually like he's fixed a lot of the ones that I, I bothered me in college, whether it would be like leaning back and arching his back. And like if he had a throw to his backside, he'd almost fall out of the way. He'd fall out of the way to make a throw, an out route to his left, right? Yeah. And it'd be like, wait, you can't be consistent by falling and arching your back. That's, that's really hard to do, throwing the ball that way. Or like stepping in the bucket, right? That's what I used to talk about. He wanted to throw the ball to 11 o'clock on the clock, and he would step to 7. Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, well, you know, I mean, you know you're going to hit some of those throws, but you're not going to hit like the throw you need to hit in a big moment if you're doing that stuff. Yeah. He's fixed that. Now it's just about smoothing out nuance a little bit, right? Not 
trusting what you see and not like letting your body just be out of control all of a sudden. And I think that's where, you know, he's, he's just got to get better in those departments. Accuracy and throwing the appropriate ball all can be better. And then the other thing you talk about, because I think about you, like when you were Johnny Film watching guy and yep. Caleb Williams. Yep. I mean, he's another guy where you turn on the film and you go, oh my God, I just can't get over how badly he was protected last year. I mean, it's every game. It's like, whoa, I, I forgot in this game that he dropped back 30 times and 27 of them, he was under pressure. Like, and then, then they couldn't run the ball. Right, so I think that's a little bit into like where we're going to take this Trevor Lawrence thing into account, too, and not be too critical on him last year. Does he got to get better at things? Certainly. But they fell off as a team a little bit last year, as we've discussed many times, and I think that affected maybe our overall look or perception of him. So it is tough, and that's what you try to do, extrapolate what was the player and what was the environment around him. You did have him sixth last year. Yeah. And the narrative around him is a top-level prospect whose team has held him back from reaching his potential, and so I think that jives with what you just said. Six last year, though, he is one of three quarterbacks now to fall out of the top ten for you. So Deshaun fell out, Aaron Rodgers, and Trevor Lawrence yeah. all out of the top yeah. ten. Yeah, it's uh, you know, there's a lot of damn good quarterbacks. Uh, yeah. that, that's the big thing, and we had some guys that. You know, when we were out of the top 10 last year who played phenomenal football that I go, well, they deserve to be in the top 10 right now. And they're playing good, and I don't think it's fallen off, right? So, you know, that that's – and I think where it, it it's – hey, the inconsistency, some of the throwing, I thought maybe he might be able to carry the team a little bit more on his own, right? And a little bit more of a – commanded a line of scrimmage like we're talking about audibles taking over the team that way i think those are other things i can look at trevor lawrence to go hey he can get better at being a leader being a little more gritty i've yet to see him yell at anybody mm. in the nfl since he's been there right surfers don't yell at hey so though. those are things like i look at and go hey that that could be that that could help him out you know now hey the system can have a few more wrinkles that's for sure right but you know with him he like we talk about with the last guy or two guys ago jordan love they got great arms and they're big and they, they're willing to hang in the pocket. They can hang on number one too long, right? Where at times you're just like, F he's not open. Move on to the next guy, right? Yep. All right. So there is that. Has to stop overthrowing, like I talked about. There's too many of those where I just go, wait, the pocket's clean and he's kind of open. I don't need the steroid herky jerk throw here. Just the way you've thrown it all game long has been great. Why did all of a sudden do we have to throw it 107 miles per hour, right? But, uh, you know, that's the thing I think we're going into here next, right? Is does he have the great ability to be able to carry the O when shit is ugly? He's shown signs of it, right? He's been able to do it here and there. I'm saying like next level is like like we know with Mahomes or Josh Allen or Burrow for the most part. It doesn't matter who you're playing, what the defense is, you keep your team in it no matter what because you're so good yeah. in the mind, physically, everything that you can do that. And I think that's the thing that we got to see from him on a consistent before we put him up with those guys. He also can be a little reckless and careless. Uh, and, uh, and and when the game is like that, he has to – he is yet to master, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the game that way makes a lot of incredible plays and throw, but definitely can be a better with touch and anticipation. Like I said earlier and uh, where to get it out when he's yeah. in trouble. I have a hard time okay. reading your handwriting sometimes too. It's difficult. Well, I'm trying not to repeat myself too, because I know some of these things I write them down like early on in my notes and then I write them again later Sir, on to, to emphasize the point. You did mention in there the carelessness yeah. and that is a black mark yes, on his resume right now. He had right. 21 turnovers last year looking at interceptions and fumbles, and fumbles as well. Right. Uh, behind only Sam Howell, who now is his teammate, and Josh Allen. Yeah. Uh, 10 turnovers came on third down, most in the NFL. Yep. And since he was drafted into the league 2021 he leads the nfl with 60 turnovers yeah and so he has been a bit of a turnover machine now they ask him to do a lot um don't protect him that well that can lead to some of those fumbles but uh he does need to hold on to the ball now here is randy mueller is yeah. a former gm uh, right he uh, is writing for the athletic now he said this quote I'll see if you agree with it yeah 
Peterson and the Jaguars offense staff have tried to use Lawrence's legs often by design. Some of his best work has come on RPOs and rollouts to get him out of the pocket. I'm not sure, though, that it's a sustainable model for an NFL offense to rely on heavily over time because it doesn't require the defense to cover one-third of the field. Yeah, you know me. You know me. I, I, like I said, the, the greatest team I've ever seen, they ran that off. The greatest team I've seen on a football field in the last 12 years ran that offense, and they had a 10-point lead in the Super Bowl, the Philadelphia Eagles, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah. Like it, yeah, those are wrinkles you want in the offense. You don't want to rely on it too much, right? And, you know, what was the other part you said there before you the talked turnovers. about him? The turnovers and all that. There's no doubt. He's got to stop trying to fit balls into areas where, where I just go, wait, that's like, I know you have a strong arm, but you can't throw, he's not invisible. You can't throw it through him, yeah. right? There's just a little of that. Because he is tough in the pocket and all that, he'll wait a little too long sometimes to like let it go, get it out, which may, he hits, he gets fumbled. So there's, there's that aspect. You know, running the ball, he got a little unlucky. Uh, a few times but the the other thing is yeah like the fumbles sometimes happen too of just like I was talking about the last thing I said is just find a place you know know where your get out of jail free card is always that's what you always got to know in a quarterback oh wait shit didn't go uh, as planned oh no I'm gonna get hit a little bit before I wanted to here I'm not gonna get where do I where can I get the ball out to avoid trouble so I don't get hit and fumbled or take a sack or do that and those are things you see yeah. that occur as well and it's hard because he's a young guy and he wants to make the offense work and like you just, you talked about they weren't that good so he I think in some games forced the issue of like wait we're struggling so I'm gonna hang in the pocket and I'm gonna make this big throw to happen oh you got strip sack fumbled or oh. You tried to fit that into a spot you shouldn't have fit it into, and those are things that you know he can he can get better at. Hasn't quite reached that potential was talked about as the next coming of Andrew Luck. We have not seen that, but what he is is he's the only first round quarterback from that vaunted draft class in 2021 to yeah. still be on his original team. Yeah, that's, that's insane. That is insane. He's shown us glimmers, and he's definitely had games and moments of being like, wait, that that guy's special right there. And that's where I have a hard time thinking they're not going to sign him to a long-term deal here soon. Yeah. Right? You know, again, I'm not in the building there. I don't know. I know Trevor Lawrence enough to know he loves football. He works hard. He's the kind of guy you want leading your team. Is he perfect? Can you get him to be better in certain areas? Yeah, definitely. But, like, man, like, wow. I got to think they've seen enough already to go, wait, our guy's got some really, really special physical attributes, He's humble. He works hard. You know, he's tough, all of that. I would think they reward him somewhere in the Joe. De I, I would think it's somewhere in that Joe Burrow money, 50 yeah. million plus, that I kind of guy. So because it, it was, I think it's still arrow going up with Trevor Lawrence right now. It's either you got the quarterback or you don't. And if you got the quarterback, it seems like just, 50 million. It's inevitable. Just get it done. Salary cap keep, keeps going up. Right. What do you think about the environment around him? Let's end on that. Yeah. Because they have uh, a new wide receiver, and Gabe Davis right. comes over from Buffalo. I think we have some video of them hooking up here. We have uh, on the field. Yeah. Oh, we have yeah. Brian I Thomas Jr. Yeah, it was, uh, it was strange. <laughs> uh, we have Brian Thomas Jr., who they drafted as you know, well, I like so you that. loved him. Christian Kirk, they got they got back there, and so here are the weapons that they have in the in the offensive line. What they are going to try to do to protect him. Mitch Morse comes over from yeah. the Bills as well. Yeah, I, I, you know th that to me is where it starts, right? I mean, Travis Atn didn't get to even be Travis Atn last year because they couldn't run or do anything. I mean, they could not. Cam Robinson was hurt, you know, hurt, right? Uh, Anton Harrison will be in the second year now, so I think he'll be a lot better. Right. So, yeah, they, they've made some some adjustments to to their football team here. And I think they had to. I mean, and it starts right there. I mean, they, they had to get the upfront part figured out. And, uh, yeah, re, you know, getting getting Ezra Cleveland there. Also big. I mean, and, and yeah, Mitch Morse at center. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. He's yeah. a good damn player for them. So uh, that I is like our, their weapons, though. You do like the I do, weapons. I do. I think it's it's a good group, and it's just it's going to be depend dependent on all the one guy you talked about, Brian Thomas Jr. Yeah. How good can he be, right? Because I think he's the guy that unlocks the rest of them. Right? Christian Kirk is an awesome number two, right? 
and he'll look really awesome. And you might think he's a number one and Brian Thomas can be awesome, right? But if you have to rely on Christian Kirk to be the guy and carry the offense and be that, I don't think he's that guy. I think he's better when he's, you know, the Robin to some Batman. Yeah, they wanted Kelvin Ridley back. That didn't work out. But, uh, yeah, still set up uh, to succeed for Trevor Lawrence, who is a top 11 quarterback in the NFL. Yo, 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 what's up? Thanks for watching, homies. You know it's the offseason, but there's no offseason with Chris Sims on button. We're, it's the NFL. It goes all year around, all right? So hit subscribe, please, to hear my thoughts on your favorite team, your favorite quarterback, and, hey, how this season might unfold as we get ready for the 2024 season. we got a better picture, clearer look now, now that the draft is over, free agency. We know who's playing quarterback for certain teams. So, again, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe. Peace out, homies. Check you out soon.